my name is Jules, and I'm an 11th grader at Westside High School. And this is my poem, Objective. It's past midnight on a Monday of a date I'll forget. Bored out of my mind, so I spend some time in it. I look around and I wonder, what if objects could breathe? Would a box gasp at the side of a blade? Uncomfortable at the thought of being forced open and having the inside components it was keeping safe taken away? Would a painting sigh when placed stagnant on a museum wall? Despite vibrant colors and being full of artistry, do paintings ever get self-conscious of all the people staring? I was staring into the mirror. Why are you looking at me like that, reflecting every insecurity I consider fact? What do I see in the mirror? What do you see back? No answer from the looking glass. Suddenly, I was filled with more questions. When talking to someone, you'll normally hear them say something along the lines of, ask me anything, tell me everything. Except for some reason, I had the compulsions to ask questions to everything, hoping it would tell me anything. Hey, object, what is your objective? Piece of paper, what importance do you wish to hold? Do you feel pride when possessing the secrets of a document? Or joy when someone finds something fun to fold? Do you envy the window? Everyone gives it the credit of being called that because they can view the world through them. But creators all know you're the true window. Into many worlds, written, drawn, or even built, my computer screen wants to scream out of jealousy. Dear glass of milk, do you feel fulfilled? Does being empty make you feel useless? Does a never-ending cycle from the cabinet to the table to the dishwasher ever get monotonous? Let's talk about it over a glass of, are you really half empty or half full? Number two, pencil. Do you ever feel like you're being used? Not wanting to give so much of yourself for something else? Me too. Isn't it painful? Whittled away just to function? Or is it more painful to get replaced with something better. Your wooden splintery exterior doesn't compare to that of your mechanical brethren. Don't even get me started on the pen. Do clothes ever feel worn out? Do books get claustrophobic? Do locks feel safe? Do refrigerators, ovens, and light bulbs ever want to change from their same mundane use of keeping things right, cold, hot, or bright? Do they really feel so all right? Typecast into the roles as appliances. Are they even the type who could provide nor properly apply what people want from them? And we thought we had it bad being alive. I'm typing. Alone on my keyboard, my computer dies. The black screen turns into another mirror. I am reflected as I reflect on my current state of mind, relating to objects, relaying to objects without being objectified, except I'm the only one of us who has an objection. How about the objects that can be responsible for silence, media, guns, knives? Do you ever think they know when they're in the wrong hands? Does a bullet ever feel guilty about its purpose in life? If objects had eyes, I'd wonder what they had seen. I thought about it for a while, and I'm kind of glad they don't. Not just because it would be creepy, but because I don't think a clipboard could be a great therapist on its own. Jules, gather your things. Jules, go outside. Jules, get some advice from people. Sorry, I object. I'm